Hey guys, so today's video is gonna be like basically like an about me, get to know me type of video. I did ask you guys to ask me questions on Instagram, so I'm gonna be um, answering them today while I use the Louis Castro collection. I'm also gonna be letting you guys know what um, what shades I'm gonna be using, and I'm gonna post them right here. I'm gonna start on my makeup just so that way i don't get ahead of myself i did already do my eyebrows just because like doing your eyebrows like on camera it's very difficult so what i'm gonna do first i already primed my face so i'm just gonna go straight into my eyes and then i'll go at the end and do my face i'm gonna be using the morphe eyelid primer it came inside of the box with the louis castro um collection as well so you don't really need a lot you just put a little bit my eyelids are primed already. I'm just gonna take this off. It has the the names of the shadows written on them. That's why I'm gonna mention them after on right here. So for today, I'm thinking about doing like a like a purple like pink tone to my eyes. First, I'm gonna start with the M411 Morphe brush, and I'm just going to dip into like this purpley shade. Let's see this one right here. So with this, I'm just working my way into the cut into the crease. So all the shadows that I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna be working it into the crease first. So now I'm gonna go in with this dark shade right here. Just to give it more of a darker effect to the eye. Um, let's see. This is actually looking pretty good. Okay, next question says why did you stop doing hair for a while okay so i don't know if a lot of you guys know so i um i i do have my cosmetology license so i do i did go to school for hair about like probably like two two three years ago but i did end up um hurting my arm i think it was about like two years ago or a year and a half that i hurt my arm while um doing blow dries so I'm going to be using the M224 brush from Morphe. If it freaking focuses, damn. Okay. And I'm also going to be using the Tarte uh, Shape Tape Concealer in 27B. So I think everybody has like their own method of how they cut their crease. But I honestly just, since I have like hooded eyes, I just put like like a little bit. Okay, let me answer another question. Where do you see yourself in five to ten years? Probably going somewhere with my um, with my channel. I've been wanting to do this for a while, but um, I don't know if a lot of you feel like this. But you see, like when you first start something, that it gets you like really nervous. Like you don't know what to say. I just felt like nervous about making it because maybe I thought like maybe I wasn't that good enough, and that really motivated me um, to start something with my channel. Let me go ahead and base this real quick. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with, this is so old, but the Kylie Holiday Palette. You guys remember this when she didn't have the freaking, on the burgundy palette, she didn't have no mirror. So I'm just gonna base it with this color right here. So I'm gonna be using the M166 brush. I'm going to be using, let's see, this shade right here. I'm going to go in again with the M166 brush. Now let's see. Let's see how she looks. Now I am going to go back into 
these two shades right here just to blend um blend everything together Okay, that looks better. This looks crazy. Let's see. I'm waiting for my my package to come from Morphe. I did order the. Hi, how are ya? Moment. Let's see another question. What inspires you to do makeup? What inspires me to do makeup? Um, I did start doing makeup really young. I was 12 years old when I started just putting just eyeliner and mascara. And I used to have, dye my hair really dark. So that was like, I don't know if that was like everybody's thing. But I feel like everyone always starts at just having, oh my ear, <laughs> this clip. Hurt the shit out of my ear. Oh my god. I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyeliner off camera because if I mess up, you guys know. Now I'm gonna put on my lashes. I'm gonna be using the Batty B in Insta Hole. Because they make me oh shit. They make me feel like an instant hoe. Okay. Okay. Lashes are on. Now I always put my 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 god. My mascara after I put on my lashes. I see a lot of people put them before, but everyone's different, so I like doing it this way. Okay, next question. How tall are you? How tall do you guys think I am? Let me know, how, how tall you think I am? Cause a lot of people say I look taller on Instagram than I do in person. I am 4'11". Yes, believe it or not. Oh, fuck. Look, I don't know if you can see that, but yes, he is. This is this is should I be talking about? And this is why you do your face after you do your eyes. This is exactly why. I'm just gonna go ahead and do the under of my eyes real quick with the same purple that I used before that dark purple. Okay. The foundation that I like to use is that Anastasia, um, damn it, where is it? The stick. It's just easier for me. I do use the, um, the liquid one as well sometimes, but I'm just willing to do this today. So I'm going to take my handy dandy beauty blender. Okay, another question is, did your septum piercing hurt? And how many piercings do you have? My septum piercing 
only her after. I feel like I heard for like two seconds. But that's only because the guy I act the guy that did my piercing. But I asked him, I was like, does it hurt? Like before, like when I was already in the chair, I was like, does it hurt? And he's like, fuck yeah, it hurts. And as far as how many piercings I have, I would need to count. So I have one, two. I do have this one up here. I just don't wear it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. I have my belly button. Seven, eight. This is a milk makeup um, bronzer. It's in baked. upside down and now to bake I'm gonna use the um, Laura Mercier in translucent so I am gonna go in with the damp beauty blender And I'm just gonna go everywhere where um, where I concealed. So I'm gonna be using the shade light palette. I'm going to be using the E4 um, Morphe brush, and I'm gonna go into this shade right here. Now to dust this um, bake off, I'm going to be going in with the middle shade and this shade, these two shades. Now for highlight, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Glow Palette. And I'm going to be using the M405 brush. And I am going in the shade right here, Summer, and a little bit of Moonstone. Now for the blush, I'm going to go in with the Tarte Seduce blush. I only use a little bit because I don't like to look that pink. Now for my lips. Let's see. Oh, I almost forgot. I almost forgot to put my inner corner. You guys ain't tell me. Okay, for my inner corner, I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. I'm gonna be going in with the M124 brush. My god. Okay. Yes. I can't 
can't wait to go out. I feel like I'm doing all this makeup and I'm not even going anywhere. Like, I, oh my God. I'm gonna be using the iconic, hold on, the lip plumper that came with the collection. But I am going to be going in first with um, the Sephora lip liner in, let's see what shade, in pink beige. In pink beige. And I'm also going to be going in after with Honey Love. If this ever. Okay, whatever. I already told you guys. Last question. Someone asked me, is it hard being a hoe? Girl, it is so hard. You imagine? Gotta keep up with. Gotta keep up with like five different relationships. It's hard out here. Nah, I'm kidding. I'm in a five year relationship with my boyfriend. Very strong. Mm -hmm. No whole activities over here. Okay, I think she is done. Now, I would usually use this spray, the All Nighter Urban Decay. But I did order this the other day, which is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Mist. Oh, this smells so good. I need to get out of this quarantine because I'm supposed to be saving money and instead I'm like, this is the end result. She is all done. I will be making more videos in the long run. I'll probably make a video probably every week. Let me know if you guys like this video. Yeah. If you're not subscribed to my channel, subscribe down below. And don't forget to add me on Instagram at J-V-R-E-L-I-N-E. -E. And also just leave a comment and a like down below as well. Thank you very much.